Falcon Lake generally is considered kind of a relatively shallow sloping lake. Uh, it's got lots of rocky points that come off with little drop offs on it. Uh, at times you're going to have a tremendous amount of cover to fish and at times you're not going to have a lot of cover to fish based on the large fluctuations on this body of water. It's not uncommon to see 30 and 40 foot swings in the water level on this lake based on irrigation needs downstream when Mexico is taking a lot of water and simply put drought. When the lake is low, you're going to see a tremendous amount of house foundations and big timber down along the Rio Grande Channel. Uh, this is, is a great thing to be able to mark with your GPS's when you come back when the water's high because those are basically fish condos when the water's up that you can catch them as fast as you can uh, find them on there. Secondly, when the water's high and, you've, and it's been low for a long time, you can expect to find acres and acres of native South Texas brush such as mesquite, wee sass, salt cedars, and others lining the banks. In fact, some of that cover can stretch for miles when you go back up into some of those creeks. And, and literally not have been accessible for years to come. But when you can get behind some of that brush after the lake's been low, hold on, you're gonna find some incredible fishing.